My name's Leo, and today we're heading in to the bush to uh, dig up some old beer cans that I stumbled upon. We're, uh, we're a little bit outside McKellar, Ontario, and uh, some old uh, rare stuff in this dump, and I'm pretty excited to get in there. So, let's go in there and see what we can find. Alright, so we're here now, and uh, over here is the debris field that I came upon. So what we're going to do is, I find a lot of the dumps up in the Skokie country are surface dumps. Uh, Canadians don't bury too much, as opposed to the American counterparts, they tend to bury them in dump holes. So what we're going to do is we're going to rake back the top layer and we'll see what we can find. Well, I didn't have to dig very long, and you can see right here in Ontario, these aluminum lids are a dead giveaway. That's an early zip top. Molson export. I don't get too excited about Molson exports. Let's keep going. We're still in the stream of uh, Molson exports. You know what? That one's got some pretty good color to it. That one will clean up quite nicely in a citric bath. Of course, the deeper you go, and yet there's another one. So yeah, that one is in good shape, no holes. That one will clean up quite nicely, but uh, Molson Export is not the most desirable or rarest cans that collectors are seeking. So I'm hoping to find something that's going to make me excited. Let's keep moving across this dump and see what we can find. Old Vienna, Happy Lazy Lager, an early top, absolutely horrible condition. There's another one. So. We're into a, a different brand of beer on this side of this uh, little patch. Red Cap Ale. Ooh, a little bit too rough. But you know what? I had to dig down a little ways for this one. I'm hoping maybe we'll find another one a little bit deeper. Uh, this is not a deep dump. This is a, pretty much a surface dump. Which means most of the stuff I dig out of here is going to be in pretty rough shape. Okay, so maybe there is a little bit of depth to this. Right here. I do a hard thing to see. Right there is a. Can get him out? Come on. Okay. Okay. Lusty Light Ale. That is great color on this can. Unfortunately, the backside is completely missing. Right up here. We're into some Labatt Tulip cans. And a little rough shape for being a surface dump, but fully expected. There we go. Just found a beauty. Great color. One little hole in the back side, quite displayable. That one was cleaned up exceptionally well. Not so long ago, that was a really tough can to find. That there is a really nice find. I'm excited about that can. All right, a little bit of an unexpected find. The uh, aluminum moose head pale ale. It could be early 60s. Uh, definitely out of province. I know they sold this stuff up here. I mean, that's in great shape for an aluminum can, but it was a red can and there isn't a stitch of color left in that. So you know what, pretty neat find, but unfortunately, no color in the can. All right, so I pull up this car seat springs. We're into a little bit of a cache of cans right here. The bat pilsner, a little rough. Oh, come on, that one there is a little rough too. That's not exactly a tough can. That can's in great shape. That one will clean up really nice. That one there's a keeper. Right there, that one will clean up. And I see right here, we also got a Molson Export, which I've seen a lot of today. And there's oh, one more Export right here. There we go, that one's complete. Right. I found something. It looks promising. It's buried pretty good. Hard to see, but that's a Dow King's beer. Pretty rare can. 
and uh, I'm hoping that one will clean up nicely uh, with a good citric bath, uh, acid bath that should clean up. That right there is a pretty tough can to find. Alright, I'm in a good spot here. Right there. Oh, the cow, he's looking good. That looks like a good one, folks. That might be the pick of the day, right there. Oh, that's a great shape. Great color. That one will clean up very, very nice. Very excited about that one. I'm going to keep digging in this one spot because I'm finding good stuff. Alright, we're in a little bit of a honey hole there, folks. Uh, of course, if they throw their stuff away in plastic bags, especially with the surface dump like this, it helps because it helps preserve it. And right down in here, under all this plastic, oh, no holes. That can will clean up absolutely beautiful. That one there is absolutely awesome. You can't find them any better than that, folks. And it's a surface dump. It's amazing. This is like 45 years in the ground and looking in this clean of condition. Amazing. I just pulled up this rock. Hoping to find something under the cover of a rock. That's a yellow little bat crystal. That's a very rare can. Unfortunately, he is no good. However, if there's one, there's got to be another one. And we're gonna try to find them right here. All right, there we go. You know what? Got a hole in it. You know what? That's a tough can to find. I waited a long time before I put one of those on my shelf. I'm very excited to have one. You see right here, down here in the corner. No, oh, that's not a can. But that is a can right there. Oh, well, if you can see that, looks like another O'Keefe right there underneath that rock. So let's take a peek. See what we got. Right there. Oh, he's not coming out easy. I don't want to scratch him up too much. See if we can get him out. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Oh, you know what? That can's in pretty good shape. One little hole on the front. That one will clean up nicely as well. We're into some of the rear stuff. Well, the camera wasn't rolling. I did find another. Uh, a few more. Dow King's beer. That one there, he looks bad, but I think you'll clean up really well. There's no holes in that can. Pretty, I'm pretty excited about that one. Great man. Alright. Gone through this dump. It wasn't a very big dump, and it certainly wasn't deep, but in this case, the stuff on the surface was better than the stuff that was down a few inches. Mind you, we did pluck a few old keeps up deep that, uh, that were in pretty decent shape. Anyhow, I got two bags full. We're going to head back to the truck, and we'll sort out set them out and see what's salvageable and which ones are going to get the citric acid back. See you back at the house. Alright, we're back at the house. This is about half of what I've dug up. Most of the stuff is just undisplayable. Too big of holes. Bottom's missing. As you see, I did manage to get about six of that crystal. That should clean up pretty good. These cans down here, for as bad as they look, these little keys will clean up really well, and mostly the color is still good in them. I did find a few Dow King beers. They're pretty rough shape. Unfortunately, I couldn't find one that was in decent shape. Got the Labatt's cans. I left most of the mold exports there. Not too interested in them. One lone uh, red cap, and I did find uh, three Moosehead aluminum cans. Like I mentioned earlier, there's no color in them. Now, we're going to clean these cans up using citric acid safe stuff to use. We'll see how some of them turn out. Not all of them will, but we'll keep the best ones. 